I am. Let's just leave it there. No, I am John Anthony Francis Wilcox. And these are six, I tell you, six awesome 80s songs. And since they're from the 80s, they have to be awesome because that was a big word then, you know? You know what I'm saying? Before we get to them, a reminder that the links to the videos for these, and there's a video for every one of these songs, um, are in the uh, comments section below, below this video. You, you take this video as a, like a place to get your bearings, and you look below it, and you'll find links to these six songs, and they're all awesome. It was an interesting um, choosing process, because some of the songs were originally going to be other songs. I'll, I'll explain as I get there. Song number one was in here all the time. Uh, it's from the band Cock Robin. And it is called When Your Heart Is Weak. Um, tremendous, tremendously overlooked band, too. Just a great band um, led by a guy named Peter Kingsbury, who was their chief songwriter and their male vocalist. And um, significant contributions from Anna Lacazio. Although she's sort of subtle in this particular song. She played keyboards, she did vocals great person too. I had had opportunities to hang out with this band. They were just great people. Music, fantastic. That's song number one, When Your Heart Is Weak. Um, you're going you're gonna to really like it. A, a moody one to start us off. Number two, well the mood gets significantly lighter and that's Madness doing House of Fun. Now originally I was going to put Madness's Our House which is sort of obvious and it is a fantastic song and a fantastic video but I feel you can you would have already found that anyway if you were looking for it House of Fun not as many people know I love this song it's a fun video it's a great great song it's just buoyant there's a wonderful vocal from Suggs of course and it's what you want it is House of Fun from Madness. That is song number two. Two for those that are counting. Song number three. Speaking of a fantastic band, um, Eurogliders from Australia doing Heaven, and then in print, Must Be There. I had an opportunity to see them back in, I guess it was 84 or 85, but I think 84. <coughs> pardon me, in um, New Haven at Toad's Place where I hung out all day with the band. They were just the greatest people and their singer Grace, Grace Knight um, unbelievable energy just, just unstoppable during that show. She was a total dynamo. It's a really nice song. It, it just, it has a good hook it has a good feel, and Grace's vocal on it is just wonderful. So that is song number three, Heaven, from the Eurogliders. Song number four, another one that was, it's the same artist, Godly and Cream. I was going to put Cry, it's sort of obvious, and it has that great, you know, face changing into face video. But I have a soft spot for this song and this video from 1981, I believe, of a song of theirs called Wedding Bells, which has that kind of a, I don't know, sort of a Motown feel to it, but it's still distinctly Godly and Cream, you know, and uh, Kevin Godley's beautiful lead vocal just really carries this song. How can you miss? And that's Godly and Cream with Wedding Bells, and that's song number four. Song number five, gee, this is this is name-dropping time, this, this video, isn't it? Uh, it's the Motels doing Icy Red. Now, you know the Motels from Only the Lonely or Suddenly Last Summer, uh, maybe Shame, but Icy Red kind of lurked below the radar around the time of the Shock album. Great album great song, but then, you know, written by Martha Davis, 
who I'm happy to like call a pal nowadays. We 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 have a friendship. She's a doesn't matter. She's a sweetheart. <coughs> I'm coughing because my throat is dry. When your throat is dry. Um, but this is a, a it's a real kind of slinky song in some ways. I I like the energy and the I don't know. There's Martha. I think always has like a tear in her voice. And it's to good effect here. I love the bass in here, by the way, and and the really angular guitar solo in in this song, which is song number five, "Icy Red," from the Motels. And we finish. Here's a song that's a weak spot for me. It's a really kind of a. I don't know. It's not the world's deepest song, but it's fun. It's a guy named Jesse Ray out of Scotland and the song is Over the Sea Over the Sea and it just it's not the most complex number you're ever going to hear but uh, it's fun it's good Scottish fun you can uh, teach the English language to people using this song just it's simple and repetitious and it's fun and, and uh, it's about a guy missing his girl because one or the other of them is away from home i think he's away from home yes he is because he left his bonnie lassie over the sea and he wants to go back and see her he can't wait and there's lots of drums and and uh, a big sword is that a claymore is that what it is i'm probably wrong claymore is probably a type of gun or whatever i think it's a sword but anyway, it's a big ass sword and it's there for your entertainment. Never forget, it's for your entertainment. And that is song number six, Over the Sea by Jesse Ray. And it concludes six awesome 80s songs, Dude and Dudette and whoever else, uh, non gender specific dudosity. Um, I hope you enjoy them. I hope you check them all out. I hope you don't know everything and you're like, why are you boring me, Wilcox? I hope you're not bored. Don't be bored. Uh, come over. I just got a new copy of Boggle, the old word, you know, like letters on dice game. Come on, let's let's have some tea and Boggle. We'll have a Boggle Palooza. So I'll see you next week with six more songs from someone or some people. Um, I'll, I can't be more specific because I haven't figured it out yet. I love you. We'll see you. Bye-bye. Farewell.